All the stakes were laid out and positioned for driving with a post driver attached to a digger. Joseph used 2.4 metre or 8 foot high strainers at the beginning and end of every length of fencing. The end strainers were further secured with stays to prevent any movement when the wire is strained. The intermediate posts were all cresoted NSAI approved stakes and are 1.82 metres or 6 foot high and they are driven 4 metres apart. In TAMS, plastic and concrete posts can also be used and timber posts do not need to be cresoted but must meet the IS436 standard. Once all the straining posts and intermediate posts were erected, Joseph set about straining the wire. First, the high tensile sheep wire was tied around the first straining post. From there, an attachment on the front loader of the tractor made it easy to roll out the sheep wire. When it was rolled out, he attached the end of the wire to a homemade clamp and chained it to the tractor front loader. By simply reversing the tractor, the wire was strained evenly from the clamp. The wire was then stapled onto the stakes and tied around the last strainer. The sheep wire was kept approximately 80 millimetres above ground level. Next, high tensile barbed wire and electrified line wire was erected. In TAMS 2, participants in the sheep fencing scheme only get paid for sheep mesh wire and one strand of wire, which can either be barbed or electrified. Joseph decided to go for one strand of electrified wire and one strand of barbed wire because he believes that is the most suitable fence for mixed livestock farms. The barbed wire was erected above the sheep wire. The electrified line wire was placed above this, insulated and strained using a chain strainer. The electrified wire was 1.4 metres or 3.6 foot above ground level. A gate was also erected on the fence line. Part of the specifications in the fencing scheme is that all gate hanging posts and closing posts must be independent of any fence post. The gate posts, like the strainers, were 2.4 metres or 8 foot high. A drill was used to bore a hole for the gate hangers. The gate itself is a 12 foot hot dipped galvanised sheep gate. 